Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about an interesting country without unemployment, homelessness, or poverty. Be sure to watch until the end and leave your thoughts in the comments. I bet you're going to have some. Enjoy! So, this surprising country, traders personally lower their prices to the one you name. Some 40 years ago, this region was considered one of the most stagnant and run down on the planet. Now, it's one of the safest. There's almost no theft. The hotel rooms don't have safes, which is a requirement for most prestigious hotels in the world. This country is called the Paradise of the Middle East because of its rare combination of various climate zones. It has free education and medical care 350 days a year. Every adult citizen is provided a plot of land to build a house, and the Sultan pays off all debts once a year. There are no taxes for people, and adulterers are put in prison. This country has no unemployment, no homelessness, no poverty, and the national health system is one of the best in the world. Where is this? This is Oman. On the east of the Arabian Peninsula, where the desert meets the Indian Ocean, lies the Sultanate of Oman. Its history goes back over 2,000 years. In 1970, when Sultan Qaboos came to power thanks to the English, he took the throne from his father, Sultan Said. Oman, Oman was a poor imamate. The quality of life was equal to that of the poorest African countries, and they suffered from many tribal disputes and were almost always isolated from the outside world. There were no hospitals, schools, roads, or radio. Boots and sunglasses were forbidden. After Qaboos came to power, Oman, as the locals say, woke up. And it's still wide awake today. This country is an absolute monarchy, which is a rarity today. Sultan Qaboos bin Said has been ruling for 42 years. His many portraits spread throughout the city and is being talked about by the Arabs speaks to how much he is loved. Now, the Sultan in these 40 years was able to drag the country out of poverty. The country, with its one kilometer long road, or 0.6 miles, quickly developed into a well developed country whose riches are equal to the financial giants like UAE and Qatar. Additionally, Oman can be considered an ultra rich country thanks to its oil production, amounting to 64% of the country's GDP. The country was able to preserve its distinctiveness and not jump into the European rails of cultural development, unlike UAE, who is building tons of skyscrapers. Of course, the country makes a lot of money off the oil sales. The Sultan's coffers actually are filled, specifically his. As they say, the oil money is carefully placed in boxes in the old Sultan's home. They say he was patient to those around him who helped the poor ruler come to power after his thousands in one coffer were eaten by rats. The rats especially went after the dollars. Oman only had three schools. They didn't have a health care system and there were only 10 asphalted roads in about a thousand miles. But that didn't bother the young, ambitious Sultan who started living in England at 16 and went home 15 years later. So his first decree was to mow down the corruptors from the government and take personal control over the oil profits. Additionally, in the 1970s, Oman opened several new key oil drills. If in 1970 the profit for an average person in Oman was about 300 USD, by 1991, it was already $7,000. Now, according to some data, it's over $60,000. Oman's capital, Muscat, is dragging itself 30 miles towards the Oman Gulf. If Rio de Janeiro is considered the city of white pants and Abu Dhabi in UAE is the city of white limos,
then Muscat is the city of white houses. The beautiful two- and three-story houses are snow white and mix with the landscape of the Omani capital. Muscat obtained a new look in the last two or three decades. It's a young city for the youth. The mayor said that over 60% are young people under 30 years old, which is incredible. Muscat has 350 sunny days a year. In July, the air temperature in the shade doesn't go below 100 degrees. Sometimes it reaches 120. You'll have to hide in the shade with the AC, with, of course, a cup of incredible coffee. Oman is considered the brightest country in the Persian Gulf. Unlike its neighboring, more conservative monarchies, women can work anywhere and are taxi drivers and police officers. A woman has the right to file for divorce and can use more things than just adultery for the reason. Oman is the first country in the Middle East to let women be empowered. Now, four Omani ministers are women. They are in the ministries of high education, middle, there are two ministries here, education, industry, and tourism. A woman is highly respected in the family. A mother's word is law and isn't to be questioned. Omani women aren't limited in their professions. For example, a woman has the right to file for divorce. There can be various regions like adultery, alcohol, or abuse. And there's even more. You won't find that in the neighboring monarchies. It should be said that the courts will try to keep families together until the bitter end. If the husband is to blame, he must help his spouse with finances until she is remarried. Girls get married here fairly late for the Muslim world, usually at 23 or 24 years old. They are trying to get an education first. Land to build a first house is provided to all citizens when they turn 18, both men and women. The standard plot is 4,300 square feet. The land is given by the state where you're registered. It's true, you have to wait a few years for it. And once received, the citizen pays a one-time tax. The house should be built with the person's own money. Loans can be taken, and the interest rate will be fixed at less than 6% annually. That's written in their laws. If a family's income is below $1,000 a month, they're provided a free apartment. Of course, it's small and not too fancy. That so-called social housing is given to those in critical need, usually to widows, disabled persons, and Bedouins. Those buildings are built outside of the cities, sometimes in the mountains or desert. The Omani homes for the middle class, at least in Salala, usually have six to seven rooms and a few bathrooms. Oman can fill your pockets with more than just oil money. The neighboring UAE government, with its growing amount of seven-star hotels and billion-dollar investments in building tourist resorts, started its own hotel race in the Gulf. The most popular tourist service in Oman is underwater swimming. The main clients are families coming from Europe, often from Germany, they also count on Russian tourists. The country has a dry law. Only Christians have the right to buy alcohol, and only with a license. That license costs 10% of your salary. You should also be employed to obtain alcohol. Additionally, alcohol is only sold in special stores, and there are only four in Muscat. It's also in hotels and restaurants with corresponding prices. There are no drunk areas, shouts, or fights. There are no empty bottles or cans everywhere either. There's just peace, quiet, and local smiles. What else do you need for a normal, healthy society? The oil reserves, even in the Persian Gulf, will run out sooner or later. 
There's no more in Bahrain. There won't be any left in the UAE soon. According to specialists, by 2030, the oil reserves might run out in Oman. The ruler is wise by realizing in time that the oil wells will run dry. He launched an Oman 2020 program. Its goal is to make the country's economy not only focused on black gold by 2020. Now, the country is getting ready to use its biggest resource, natural gas. The indicated oil reserves in Oman make up 5.3 billion barrels. That's a modest estimate, and at current rates, will last just 15 years. In comparison, the oil reserves in Saudi Arabia are estimated to last 70 years, 100 years in UAE, and 110 in Kuwait. The people don't just love the Sultan. They make him rich. And the relationship is gratitude for what he did. Every office and hotel has a portrait of the monarch. His majesty is praised in songs, scarves with his face are sold in shops, and you'll even find stickers of him for your phone. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave us a like, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe either. There's many more interesting videos coming up to look forward to.